Avenue. Uh, we are uh, petitioning for uh, permission to, uh, this is a pre existing non conforming uh, home. Uh, we are uh, petitioning for uh, relief from uh, the restrictions of the, uh, of the, the rear yard setback um, to allow uh, the Blazers to build a, uh, a 12 by 18 addition on the back of their home, which will allow them to stay in their home. Um, uh, longer than they would otherwise be able to do. Uh, again, this is another, another one of those. Um, uh, everybody, try, everybody, try, everybody, try, everybody try to try to stay stay where they are, yeah. and uh, I'll I'll be in that line very important very long myself, I'm sure. Uh, so what I have here is uh, is, a, is a plan of the uh, property. I don't know if you've all got this plan in there, uh, but the um, the existing the, the street the St James Avenue is right here uh, the existing uh, floor plan of the house uh, includes a side yard porch uh, which is quite close proximity I think seven feet from the uh, from the side yard line uh, the uh, our request is to add uh, 12 by uh, by 18 six addition master bedroom Utilizing some of the interior space that is now in the house for uh, for master uh, a master bath, a walk-in closet, a half bath, and a laundry, all of which would, would allow them to contain their living on the first floor. Uh, currently, the, uh, the the setback from the existing house to the to the closest part of the rear yard set of the rear line is 25 feet. The uh, the new setback would be 14.1. Uh, and that's from the 25 feet is from the back of the garage. 25 feet is actually the garage is over here. This yeah. is the, but uh, no, the, 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 the lot has a funny shape, and if you look at yeah, um, the yard's got a, got a funny shape, and that's that's oh, what yes. it does. Mm -hmm. So from the garage, it's 75 feet or so to the, to the, to the, to the what I guess is considered the real rear yard line. Um, this funny little jog that that uh, that that, um, that is here actually has a uh, it, 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 there there is a, 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 a garage barn structure that is also uh, actually that that barn structure would, would be in conformity with it because it's closer to the more it's detached it is yeah. detached yeah so um, that one is in conformity to to, to, the, to the to the zoning um, it is uh, but it, we, we would be. We would be <coughs> Building closer to that building, but that building is in compliance. So um, I again, we're, we're not building closer to anybody to, to any dwellings. We're simply building closer to an existing bar in the back of an existing bar. Um, let's see. Which can be done with a special permit. Right. So this is probably the first application <coughs> that you guys have seen since the ordinance changed um, mm -hmm. to reflect changes in um, case law. So. Because of that funny job, this is considered the side set a side property boundary, mm -hmm. um, and um, the way the ordinance reads is that if you're already non-conforming for a setback, then you could look at other setbacks that are under a special permit review, which will require three votes, affirmative votes, to approve, but with the standard that it would not be substantial more detrimental. Right. You just need three votes. Mm -hmm. Just so I understand that, because that's that's news to me, yeah. also at least new to me. Anyway. Yeah. Um, because this is a non-conforming side yard setback. Yeah. Uh, and it and it would the, 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 what, we're, what we're requesting is actually not more is not closer is not is not a a, a, a great a greater non-conformity. Is that, is that what they're with well, the, the way it reads is that once you're in the non-conforming zone for a setback, yeah. you can, the world is your oyster, <laughs> whatever you would say that. Um, you can, you don't have to be less non-conforming than the existing condition, but probably the, the standard is, it may be more difficult to argue that it's not worse than the existing condition the closer you get. Right. But it's just the way the courts have decided to interpret um, those conditions that basically you can ask for anything once you're in the non-conforming realm. Yeah. But of course, our standard is that it's got to be substantially more 
Dr. Right. <laughs> and also the the uh, building inspector's note is regarding side setback. Right. Yes. <clears throat> but, they, but the way the courts have interpreted it doesn't matter whether it's side, front, or rear. If you're non-conforming for side, mm. you can ask to be non-conforming for rear. Mm. But you but only if the board finds that uh, under special permit. Mm -hmm. That it's not worse situation than the existing, let's say, side setback. Mm. <clears throat> Good to know. So, <laughs> sounds like a whole can of worms to me. But, 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 but what am I? Yeah, doing? I think what it's I through everyone in the Commonwealth for a loop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions, Sarah? No. no. Um, is there anyone uh, in the audience who would care to speak in favor of the proposal? Sure. <laughs> um, well, we are requesting this. We think it's going to enhance the house and and that whole corner of the neighborhood. But we are requesting it for basically for health reasons and um, feel that we can we can do that without disturbing any of the neighbors in any substantial. This actually, uh, just as, as a side note, um, is completely invisible from the street. You cannot see it from the street at all. Yeah, I'm many, from any street. I'm driving past it. Yeah. Quite clear enough. Are we were ready to close the public here? Yeah, yeah. just to come away so against. Oh, there you go. <laughs> is there anybody against? I'm not here, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> are we ready to close the I don't have any problems with the proposal myself. Does anyone? No. Yeah. No. no. Well, are we ready to go? That's good. Yeah. Um, so, perhaps, okay. Um, I make a motion that we grant the special permit for expansion of the non-conforming setback. It's on King James Avenue, that might be 31A, lot 302, as presented. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Second. Oh, oh second. Yeah. Oh, second. Second. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck with your project. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, folks. Good luck. Well done, sir. Well done. And this is an application for a comprehensive permit amendment to the Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity uh, to reduce the setback on one parcel in order to swap land at th three Garfield Avenues in Florence, map ID 17 17D-80, and to get notice of uh, uh, this hearing was published in the Daily Hampshire Gazette on July 3rd and July 10th of 2014. So, who is... I'm here. I'm the Executive Director of Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity. So, should I come up to present? Please, yes. Say your name, please. Yeah. Megan McDonough. So I distributed with the application a plan. Mm -hmm. We have another, I have a full-size copy today, um, if that's helpful to see. Is there any difference? Um, the only difference is that the surveyor drew on the 10-foot uh, setback around the perimeter of the lot. It was sketched in by myself mm -hmm. on the um, application that was uh, sent around. The Oh, 
So it's this dashed line. That dashed yeah. line. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the. That's where it's ten feet of the corner. Request location is right there. So the the comprehensive permit amendment that we had in 2008 already has a side setback amendment for ten for it to be ten feet. Mm -hmm. um, what was not explicitly stated in that amendment was the width of the lot. So Kara, at the my understanding is that the where the house is, the lot width should be the same as the lot frontage. And at this point, that the narrowest, if we take that triangle off to give to the neighbors because their driveway is currently on that triangle of land, it makes the lot width at its narrowest point approximately 40 feet across, whereas the lot frontage is 57.5 feet. Did the surveyor note the dimension across? Um, no. Um, did, mm, I do have an eight and a half by 11 version where he did. Sorry about all the maths, yeah. but it okay. took me a while to get it out of him. <laughs> so why are you putting on this one? You didn't understand what I was asking at first. So I apologize for having an extra map here, but. Oh, so it says 40.95 here. Yeah, so this is, I, he did the, the full size one and then I, he just emailed me a PDF yesterday showing the lot width as well, so I printed that out. So, that point is down to 40 feet. Yeah, the survey has it at 40.95, so I was mm -hmm. approximating. So the issue is look at this one in your in your right. Hand. It says right under here. Um, the issue is that the we have a lot layout requirement where the width, the frontage, and the width have to remain to the rear of a structure, and so the frontage reduction was granted to 57.5. Um, so it's you know as you can see from the shape of it, it's going to be narrowing back uh, before the. Uh, rear of the structure. So that's the waiver that they would be requesting. So where is the 57.5? The front is along the street. It, it includes oh, this see. 8 here plus the 49 here. Okay. So uh, the other condition in the permit, comprehensive permit existing is reduction in side setback for lot 3 as shown, minimum 10 feet at the corner of house is what I would assume. Yes. So it looks like that's okay. it looks clear to clear to me, but if you need a clarity, uh, I would uh, Well uh, you can clarify it in this decision by saying mm -hmm. that if the, the ten the ten foot setback remains at the rear corner of the house. Are you uh, playing finish? Yeah, no, I mean, the, the, the overall purpose of doing this, requesting this waiver, is so that we can um, give to the neighbors uh, that triangle of land that has been identified because their driveway currently runs across that and the lot on which that is on is sloped and would be difficult to reposition the driveway. So that's the 25 Correct. It's going to be given to these people. Yes. Okay. And they already have a house. They do. There's an existing house approximately here. Yep. Okay. Bob, oh, any questions? No. You? No. No. I don't have any questions. Um, is there Okay, and you're done with your presentation? Yeah, if you have no questions. Yep. Is there anyone else who would like to speak in favor of the application? Uh, I cannot speak English so good, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, is there anyone who 
would, well, there's no one present, so obviously there can't be anyone to speak against it. So, um, I make a motion to close the public hearing. Okay. Second. Uh, all in favor? Um, would someone who care to make a motion? I make a motion that we grant the comprehensive permit amendment for Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity to reduce setback on one parcel in order to swap lay it swap. There there is no I'm not sure that it doesn't appear to be the exact language of the application. Okay. In order um, to convey that's <laughs> better. Land at three Garfield Avenue map by the seventeen D lot E which is the whole thing, and you're conveying a portion thereof. Mm -hmm. uh, to clarify, waiver number three of the original comprehensive permit, or the uh, comprehensive permit dated September 16, 2008, Reading, reduction in side setback for lot three as shown on plans, minimum of 10 feet at rear corner of house. At southwest corner of house. Do you have that, Carol? A second. Is it a clarifying question or is it? No. Uh, do, in that uh, motion that you just said, is that also giving us a variance on the lot width requirement? Thank you. Carolyn would have caught me. <clears throat> and Grant, for your input, the request was to reduce that. So we have to do that. Okay. Uh, in effect, granting a variance on the lot width requirement. Which is also technically a waiver. A waiver. A waiver. <laughs> so we're adding. You're a not waiver. granting a variance, but you're adding a waiver to the comprehensive permit, a waiver from the zoning. You would have said variance in the variance. You're right. Um, Instead. Right. Because it's a comp permit, yeah. it's not a variance. Yeah. A variance it's a waiver. would be harder to deal okay. with. Okay. Right. All right. Is that your motion now? Yes, but that's our motion is to make. I second it. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Well, we, don't need it. <laughs> and do we, we don't need a signature on this plan. The surveyor put something on the hard copy, but I, it's only when we go to the A&R that we need a signature. It's the A&R that needs a signature. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was for someone else's house, so I won't take that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Everything all set, so we will come to. So there will be more signing later, um, but they gave approval for the so for this with. We don't need to swap the land. We, we still need to draw up the deed to get it to you. Okay. So there will be a, be, um, a one more hearing oh, to sign a map and to divide the land.